Most of you know that I am an ice hockey referee, and this is the time of year when USA Hockey certifies a new group of officials. So we will soon have a bunch of rookies joining us out on the ice. I've decided to do a training video using our two dogs to demonstrate a process that will assist these referees as they begin officiating. Before we begin, I need to give you a little background about what this video is about. One of the jobs of referees is to signal penalties. Now, the vast majority of times, penalties are assessed and served without incident. The referee calls the penalty, and the player will do one of two things. He'll either skate directly to the penalty box, because he knows he did wrong, or he'll skate up to the referee and do some type of protest. We referees call this chirping. And chirping usually takes one of two forms. Either the uh, player will deny that he made an infraction. He'll say, I didn't hook the guy, I didn't trip the guy, I didn't hold the guy. Or, alternatively, he'll complain that his opponent should also be going to the box. Referees need to have a bit of a thick skin here. The objective is just get the player in the box and get the game back going again. This video is intended to cover the other side of that process, when a player becomes belligerent. Now, I've told players for years that yelling obscenities at a referee uh, will not better your condition. The best you can hope for is the referee will ignore you, and anything other than that goes downhill for the player. Nonetheless, some players seem to think that by swearing and yelling at the referee, things will get better. Now, in all my years of hockey, I have yet to see a referee say, gosh, you're right, I'm an idiot, that was a stupid call, thank you so much for pointing out that I don't deserve to be on the ice with you. Haven't seen that yet. What we do have is a process from USA Hockey that helps us deal with belligerent players. In the following video, you're going to see our two dogs, Puck and Winger, demonstrate the proper administration of that process. We referees call it 2, 10, and game. Now, in this video, one of our dogs is going to take the role of the seasoned, composed referee, and the other dog will play the belligerent player. Guess which dog that is. Come on, go get it. So, as we begin our game, you can see Winger playing some hockey. You can tell this is a lower division game. You know, Winger seems to have a bit of difficulty receiving passes, and certainly his hockey stops could use a bit of work. But regardless, the game's being played correctly, and there's nothing for Puck the referee to call. But now watch closely. A penalty's coming up shortly, and it happens quite fast. So be ready. There. Did you see it? Let's watch that in slow motion. So as you see here, the player is coming down with his head up. He sees the ref, but makes absolutely no effort to avoid him. So referee Puck has about one half of one second to process through all 380 pages of the USA Hockey Rulebook and make a decision about whether or not a penalty has just occurred. Puck quickly decides that, yes, there is a penalty here. So he first raises his arm to signal he's going to call a penalty. And since the offending team has possession of the puck, he immediately stops play. He then assesses the penalty. The yellow team, player number K9, charging. Let's see what I'm doing. So as you can see, rather than go to the penalty box, Winger here decides he's going to argue with the official. That calls for the first step of 2-10 in game. So, since the player refuses to go to the penalty box, and instead is giving the referee quite a hard time, the referee will begin the process of 2-10 in game by calling the first penalty. He'll signal a T and call the penalty unsportsmanlike conduct. We referees call this teeing the player up. Now at this point, if Winger would go to the box, he would have a minor penalty to serve for charging and another minor penalty to serve for unsportsmanlike conduct. But Winger isn't done yet. Let's see what happens. So, as you can see here, Winger continues to harangue our referee, even taking it near the stands in one of the fans. This calls for the next step of 2-10 in game. 
So, at this point, Winger has accumulated two penalties. He has a minor penalty to serve for charging, and he has another minor penalty to serve for unsportsmanlike conduct. This latest penalty is a 10-minute penalty. Remember, it's 2-10 in game. So the 2 was for the unsportsmanlike conduct, and now the referee signals a 10-minute misconduct. And he does this with hands on the hips. 10-minute misconduct. At this point, if the player would simply go and serve his two minors and his 10-minute misconduct, everything would be fine. But unfortunately, Winger has to uh, put in the ultimate insult to our uh, referee, and uh, no doubt is deserving of a game misconduct. So there you have it, the proper application of 2-10 in game. I should assure you that no animals were injured in the making of this video, and also, to appease my wife, I'm going to put in some outtakes that show that Winger is not always the bad guy. Take a look. Okay, so let's have a round of applause for our two stars, Puck and Winger.